Over the last decades, much progress has been made globally in the fights against HIV and AIDS. In Kenya, the rising number of HIV-related deaths is attributed to high level of stigma and discrimination. I was really stigmatized. I remember there's a group in a chamber I used to go. There's a time I went to attend. I really wanted to pay my contribution, but then they, they didn't want to pick the money because it was from an HIV-positive person, according to them. So they just told me to walk away, which really affected me. In a bid to end high case of stigma, the Kenya network of HIV positive teachers has joined in the fight through a documentary whose aim is to inculcate a spirit of destigmatization of HIV positive teachers and people affected with the virus. In those unions, they have successfully led to reduction in stigma and discrimination, not only for teachers, but even for children. They have led to um, a lot of work around addressing human rights violations for people living with HIV. The organization also aims to create an environment where teachers are free to work without stigmatization. According to National AIDS Control Council Director Nduko Kilonzo, cases of stigma in the workplace is an issue that needs to be addressed by other professionals in the country. For other uh, public sectors uh, to try, and I'm hoping that we can learn from what Kenepote has done. Nduko says the country has a total of 15,000 teachers who are HIV positive. Meanwhile, the latest survey by the National AIDS and STI Control Program shows that HIV prevalence is on the decline in the country at 7.2%. Regular follow-ups and feedback reports shows that there has been an improvement in the number of people seeking health services and among patients put on ARVs. However, there was noted reduction in drug defaults as well as bedridden cases and deaths.